Welcome back, guys. We finally found uh, a cookbook so that we could make oil pots. So now we're gonna go rescue Alexander. Also, in this area, you will find another tibia mariner that you can fight and get a death root from. Um, at this point, I mean, it was like a really easy fight because we leveled up with that magic. Uh, all right, let's see if we can get our boy out. Mmm, that was probably a miss. Also, if you're wondering how to get more cracked pots, you only get a certain number of them, and then they're just reusable. You have to use them in order to craft stuff in them again, uh, which I just figured out, because you can't... Once you buy them, I think there's like, what, 20 in the whole game or something? Uh, once you buy them, that's, that's pretty much it. And then you use them, and then you can reuse them for crafting, which is kind of cool. There we go, that should work. <laughs> slippery as a toad. Nice and big. Well. Oh, that was a mess. Sorry, bro. Oh. I feel like I'm just killing him at this point. That is a big hole. What you got? Exalted flesh. You know, him giving me exalted flesh just makes me feel weird now. Knowing that he's filled with, like, body parts. Now I know what it's like to be one of them. Yes, indeed. I too have a home. I want to go to your home. To which I have vowed not to return. So, I thought I might... Why, though, Alexander? I drew closer and closer. Pow. Wouldn't you know it? I was perfectly stuck in that blasted hole. I can feel the warriors inside admonishing me for my weakness. Ugh. Walk the path of champions. One cannot cleave to the past. I'm headed to the fiery mount in the north. I can strengthen myself there without fear of cracking this vessel. I will forge myself anew in its flames. Yeah, we do have an invitation to go to the Volcano Mountain, which I'm excited to find and go to. It's kind of insane that in this game so far, you only need to kill two lords in order to ascend. There's so much else that you could just bypass and miss. It's insane. I guess that'll make it easier for, like, New Game Plus people who just want, you know, the multiple endings. But even then, you still have to do so much in order to get those endings. So I guess maybe for, like, the first two playthroughs, you should try to do, like, all the side stuff and get the harder endings. And then you could probably just run and get, like, the Elden Lord ending, I'm sure, if it works that way. Alright, so we got that statue from Rani. And... I want to go to that place that she talks about. The entrance is down there. So let's see. There's also so many paintings I have yet to find. So much stuff. So much stuff. All right, let's find this cliff face. There we go. Let's set it so I can put myself down in the ravine. No, oh, thank you, sir. Give ourselves a better vantage point here. Alright. I 
I really do appreciate how like layered the level design is. Like there's different ways to get to places and sometimes you really gotta think about it or figure it out. Like, ooh, yeah, how do I get to the bottom of this chasm? How do I get to the other side <laughs> of this bridge that's broken? You know, it's pretty cool. Man, there's still stuff that we have to do with, uh... Woo, that's a long jump. Okay, I'm okay. <laughs> the jumps in here, man, sometimes you just don't know what you can make and what you can't. Um, but as I was saying, there's just still so many factions in this game. Like, I'm still really interested to know what's going on with the demi-humans. And, like, I know there's some more stuff with them. And then now there's, like, these fire priest ladies. It's just so much stuff. I don't think I've been, like, this engrossed in a game in a long time. Just because there's so much content and there's so many things for you to find that it's hard to just, like, not want to look at everything and see what's up. All right, guess we're gonna do it. boy. Let's see what all that's about. Oh. Hmm. All right. I guess that's the... Hmm. Let's see if we can safely jump down. And not fall to our deaths. Would be great. Oh fun! Creepy hands. Exactly what I wanted. <laughs> no one can survive the stomp. I stomp for days. Whoa, this is really trippy. Hmm. Prospector Miriam. Well, Prospector Miriam, you look an awfully lot like Saluvius. Well, come on, I kind of just want you to fall off the platform. What's kind of nice, though, is like, as much as I love that arrow... Oh, they transported it. Uh, as much as I love that bow and arrow magic, it does take a long time to cast, so. Not always fun for me to use, but it's great when other people try to use it and fail. <laughs> uh, let's see if we can get some goodies before Miriam tries to slap me with some magic. Uh, I think we can only go that way.
I hear her shooting away, but I do not see her. I think we came from this way, right? Yeah. We came from that way. What about you, ghost? You want to jump? Go ahead. Jump. She must be on a lower level or something. Fingies, fingies. Relax. Oh, coming around the bend. No chance for the stomp. Ah, oh, there she is. <laughs> just slowly walking up. Can she? No, yeah, she can't hit me from here. Excuse you. Get wrecked, bro. Come on. Come saunter over to your deaths. You too, Miriam slash Saluvius. Come on, come a little closer. You can stomp your ass. Come on. Alright, it's gonna be like that. Ooh, gotcha. Ooh. Lucidity. I always forget about the repost. I don't use it enough, and I should. Man, I really hope I don't have to jump on some chandeliers. Mm. It looks kind of far. When in doubt, put on a cat ring. Mm. And of course, support beams wouldn't be a FromSoft game if there weren't rafters to jump on. Does this do anything if I cut it? No, can't cut it. Alright, I'm just gonna do a little perimeter check. Make sure there's nothing around here. Uh, I don't think so. I don't see any items up here. So I think we're just gonna head 
down. Woo, that could have been bad. <laughs> if I had hit that little banister cap, that could have been bad. Probably would have knocked me to the side. Another guy over there. Also getting around these things is a little... Uh, a little scary. Is he gonna come alive now? He's just holding on! <laughs> oh man. And I'll yoop. Guess we press it. Be cool to have a battle on this thing. I don't think that's gonna happen, but... A little battle royale on the elevator. So I know the door's over that way. I'll just do another little little sweep. Make sure there's nothing that we miss over here because it's quite a big roof. Make it outside. I'm assuming this is Ronnie's tower. We're gonna rest up, chill for a minute, check out the tower. Um, so we did that and we found Ronnie's body and we collected the rest of her Outfits. We also get a miniature Ranny that we can talk to. But you have to keep talking to it if you want it to talk to you. <laughs> it's kind of like, I guess, the last bit of the doll fragment of what she's a part of. I'm assuming. How could we not recognize you? It's a miniature you. How is this my fault? She's like angry with us. As recompense. The shadows which prowl these lands. The name of Rani the Witch is already sullied by thee. I will not brook disobedience in this matter. So feisty, Rani. Um, and we already know the Baleful Shadow is going to be our beloved Blythe. What's interesting, though, is that she says shadows as plural. So I wonder if we're going to have to fight him more than once. Mmm, coming in with a backstab. Yeah, we're, we're going to throw that on for extra HP consumption. Oh, 
Oh, what is that? What is that? Don't like it. I don't like it. Ooh, it's creepy. It's like a centipede dragonfly thing. I don't know. I don't. Ooh. Oh boy. I kind of don't want to fuck with it, but I think we're going to fuck with it. I'm going to get our magic on. And I'm going to summon my girl, aka double me. Warming stones is such a good thing to have equipped for them because, like, she'll just stand in it and, like, keep regenerating HP while she's, like, shooting magic. So it's pretty baller. I don't know if this guy's a boss or just, like, a weird thing, but... We're gonna get it poppin'. Ooh, and he has gravity spells! Oh boy. Oh, okay, we're not even close. Oh, it's so fucking weird looking. So weird. Get that beautiful HP regen, please. Alright, well, I guess it wasn't that scary. But still fucking weird. Uh, I think me and Mini-Me are just gonna clear this place out then. Might as well. These clay men have so much boys. I love how she's just dropping them. I mean, I don't mind. I'll, I'll take advantage, thanks. <laughs> it's such a game changer having this ash, I swear. It's, it's insane. It's so good. There's been a lot of people online, though, bitching that it's, like, broken. You know? They're like, oh, it's too easy, and blah, blah, blah. It's like, you really want to argue? <laughs> like, he's giving you something nice, and you just want to argue about how it's, like, too OP. Like, I can understand if it was, like, too OP for PvP. I mean, I haven't done any PvP yet, but I'm assuming you can't really use your ashes um, during that. And like, yeah, in that case, that would be a lot. But for like most shit, it's just a nice convenience. Like you're having a hard time and maybe you're just playing solo and you wish that you could have another cooperator and it's like, well, here you go. You got one. I just, uh, I don't understand people's bitching about it. I think it's great and like... Y'all should be fucking happy that <laughs> you can get something like that. But hey, if you want to suffer because you're that much of a masochist, then, you know, by all means. Some people just want to fight it. They just want it to be hard for the sake of being hard instead of just, like, playing smart. It's like, alright. Like, I don't, I'm not gonna beat my head against a wall. <laughs> Consistently, if there are tools that the fucking game developers are giving me to win, to succeed. If they're like, hey, we know this shit's hard, and we know you're struggling, here are some things that will help you. <laughs> like, just fucking use it and be happy. 
I'll never understand that. Like, I love the Souls community. I love all the, you know, a lot of the people in it. I think it's one of the mm, lesser toxic communities out there in gaming. Like, usually people are really helpful and cooperative. And, you know, I always love the beginning stages where everybody just wants to help out and, like, you know, share tidbits of information. But, uh, yeah. Some of y'all just want shit to be hard for the sake of being hard. And like, don't get me wrong, I'm all about the get good, you know? I tell people that all the time, where they're like, oh, I just can't do this thing, and I'm like, well, some of it, <laughs> some of it is skill, I mean, a lot of it's skill, a lot of it is get good, but there's also things in the world to help you, so. But yeah, I know a couple of friends who just want to suffer, they're like, oh, it's too, uh, it's too OP, or like some of the stuff is, it just makes it too easy, or the fight went too quick. And I, I understand how sometimes that can be disappointing if a boss fight goes a little too quick and you like can't really enjoy it. So I get both sides. But sometimes, I mean, sometimes it just makes me feel like a fucking badass. Like, damn, I was leveled up enough and my shit is wrecking and creaming. Just creaming. But I get it. I mean, I, I do wish the Mimic tier fight, the boss fight, was a little bit longer. But... I mean, I'm also just at a place where I leveled up a lot. I did a lot of side leveling. I put a lot of stuff into the stats that I knew that I was going to use. And they just didn't have a, a chance. <laughs> no chance in hell. Uh, but still, a lot of the regular invaders are actually pretty hard. Like, I mean, I thought the Mimic tier was going to be hard because it's literally you're fighting a copy of yourself. I was like, shit, this might be really bad. But it was decent. However, like, the dragons, still fucking hard. Glenstone dragons, really fucking hard. Uh... Some of the other red phantoms that have come in, fucking wreck. So, you know, even with a good summon, there's no guarantee. Like, my double has really been helping me out, but... I mean, there's times that we've both gotten wrecked, so... Oh, the bubbles. I used to think the bubbles were really weird and kind of stupid, but the fact that it, like, <laughs> slowly <laughs> keeps coming towards you and then blows up... Like, there's some sort of, like, existential dread with that. It's just like, oh, it's gonna happen. It's gonna reach you, and it's gonna hurt, you know? I don't know how useful it actually is in combat. It could be. I haven't used it. I have it, but I haven't used it. But It's just such a funny spell to me, and it, it kind of freaks me out. Because <laughs> it doesn't seem deadly, because it's just a bubble, but... It can do some damage if you get caught. Let's see what we got down here. Oh, oh. Big bugs. Big, big bugs. Oh. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. very fallout right now. Ooh, did you see that stinger? Jesus. Ooh, stimulating boluses. Uh, we're just gonna hit you guys from afar, because I don't want to deal with the whole rad roach situation right now. Oh man, are these like queen bees over here? Way to make ants with wings scary. <laughs> Did it try to fling a skeleton at me? <laughs> Ooh. Oh, big boy head. Okay.
trying to time it so we can get underneath the head. There we go. Get a little light. Love that little lantern. It's such a good, such a good buy. Oh. Hello. Who are we worshipping over here? Hmm. Are you worshipping that dragonfly? Gross thing? Oh, hi. Ooh. Y'all all can do some gravity magic. Alright. Alright. Oh, and rock throws. Alright. Still no match for my frost. Uh, can we get down there? Uh, not gonna fuck with it right now. Like, I'm trying to see if I can sneak past because there's like an item over there. But I think Homie is still gonna like hit us, and I don't think I could jump that high. No. Nope. I'm just not gonna fuck with it. Nope. Nope. We'll come back. The joys of this. We'll just come back another time. I am digging Ronnie's outfit, though, and, like, it's supposed to boost, uh, ooh, look at all these crispy bodies. Hmm. Uh, it's supposed to boost frost sorceries, so. Oh, can't break the eggs. No face hugger status. Hmm. Anytime there's an empty place, I'm always like, hmm. So I'm gonna pop out. No. Okay. Ooh. Go down the ladder or jump down? This is cool. Give ourselves a little resty rest. See if Let Rani says anything. A while. I was once an Empyrean of the demigods. Only I, Mikola, and Melania could claim that title. Each of us was chosen by our own two fingers as a candidate to succeed Queen Marika to become the new god of the coming age which is when I received Blythe in the form of a vassal tailored for hmm. the period. But I would not acquiesce to the two fingers. I stole the rune of death, slew mine own Imperian flesh, casting it away. I would not be controlled by that thing. The two fingers and I have been cursing each other ever since. And the baleful shadows are their assassins. I turned my back on the two fingers. So they each have their own two fingers. So that's interesting. So there are more of them. And then they each get their own guide. So Blythe was her guide. And when she turns away, or if they choose to turn away, uh, their guardian will turn on them. It's pretty fucked. I'm really interested. I mean, she doesn't want to become 
the new god. And I really want to know more about, like, the underlying stuff on, you know, behind the fingers. And I'm just curious if they all come from, like, one hand, you know? Like, it's just a, it's a weird, it's a weird thing. They look like they were just cut from something... Oh, that's cool. I want to ride one. Oh, shit. Whipping my ass. Oh, cool. It's like a shotel that's a whip. That's cool. kind of want that. I hope one of them drops it at some point. That's cool. That's really cool. Making a way downtown, walking fast. Lots of blobs gonna kill them. Woo! There's a bunch of bullet heads in here. So I'm not fucking with it, just stomping. Stomp them out. Oh, and goodbye. Give me the goods. Ooh, yes, please. Ooh, that's gonna be good, because now we can buy glove wart, which is amazing. We just level up our summons like little Pokemon. Uh, I'm gonna go back because I think I missed a chest. It's crazy how there, there's already people being like, are we gonna get Elden Ring DLC? And it's funny because someone commented like, there's a whole underground map. <laughs> and I haven't even explored all of it. It's probably as vast as the top map. Who knows? Like, there's so much of this game. I mean, even if they did do more content. Oh my god. I mean, I already know I'm going to be playing this game for, like, the rest of the year. Easily. Easily. Oh lord. What a good trap. Because I haven't seen a blob trap yet. <sighs> Man, really got me. That's the first blob trap in, like, 50 hours of playing this game <laughs> or more that I've fallen into. Uh, sneaky little buggers. Keep... I keep hearing this sound. But I don't see what it is. jump over there. Mm, no. Stone sword time. At least it's only one. see how we wanna how we wanna do this hopefully there's only two of them <laughs> and not alert the other one which I think is really funny it's like bro you really don't you don't hear your dude getting slapped right now <laughs>
These guys have really cool weapons and armor. I hope they drop some of it. Oof. That fucking hammer. These, like, whips. I mean, it's cool because it's, like, it's made out of, like, a, you know, like a liquid metal. Similar to the husks. Give me the goods. Ooh. More puppets. Yes, please. Huh. Interesting, though, that there's a puppet ash here, and I wonder if Saluvius has been here. Because Saluvius is the puppet master, after all. So I'm interested how he kind of came about with that magic. It's very interesting to me. Because he's a shady motherfucker. Very shady. Uh, I feel like that noise... is getting... Oh! Oh boy, I see it now. There's a giant rolling ball rolling back and forth. Uh-huh. That's that sound. Uh, where are you going? Are you- oh. Oh, you're gonna follow me? Okay. How far are you gonna follow me, though? I wonder if it's just gonna- Oh, shit. <laughs> this shit's really scary. Oh, uh, how we just sped up like that? Fuck. Okay, okay, we should get down here. Uh, how's it? Wow, it's really gonna. Uh, oh. Oh, hello. Um. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Hopefully, I can't break through the fucking walls here. Oh my god, this is very- this is- this is- <laughs> This is very creepy! <laughs> oh, um... Okay, okay, we could damage it. Alright. Fucking giant ball. The fuck? <laughs> Alright, we got our, uh... We got our flasks replenished, so that usually means that we we killed all the stuff in the area. So hopefully there's not another one that pops out, but that was fucking weird. <laughs> uh, a sentient ball. Who would have thunk it? These guys remind me of little, uh, messengers. No more goodies over here? Alright. I wonder if it just, uh, comes out of that room. So I didn't see anything in there. But I wonder if that's where it spawns from. Let's see. Hmm. I don't see anything. Yeah. Probably. C oh. Oh. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking closes the door behind you. Wow. No, thank you. No, thank you. We're getting a lot of larval tears. So you can definitely respec a lot more times. Which is kind of nice. I don't know what else we can use them for other than respec. But it's kind of great that they give you multiple options throughout the game to just like change your stats. So like at any point you could just be like, eh, I don't want to be a mage anymore. I just want to be a strength builder. Mm, I don't want to be a strength build anymore. I just want to be dex and intel. 
Like that's it's pretty dope. Got some good good glove warts over here. Man. Uh, it looks like we pretty much cleared up this area. Just get a few more goodies. Oh, I see a ball up there. There be a ball up there. I think you're sneaky, but I see you. This treasure better be worth it. Oh god, I got so much blood on my face. Oh. Oh lord. Oh, and they're lightning? Okay. Just hoping none of them turn into mimics. Uh, cause there's, there's a few places where they, they'll turn into NPCs. It's pretty fucking scary. <laughs> Imagine just having like, what, like, ten <laughs> invader NPCs <laughs> fucking chase you. Damn, how many are there? I wonder if they're coming off the ball. I'm not fucking around. Y'all are gonna get stomped. Oof. All day, every day. Is that it? Okay. I kind of want to look into what the larval tier is, because it seems like it, it's dropping from the balls as well. It's like a sentient thing. I'm going to have to read the description at some point. Um, so I completed this part of Nuxtella Eternal City. Uh, what a fun place that was. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, and now we're going to a new part. We found the Nuxtella Waterfall Basin. Which is the only place we haven't really checked yet for him. So we're going to do that. And ooh, look at all these eggs. Oh, those aren't ants. Oh, are these like the... Oh my god, they kind of look like the basilisks from Dark Souls 1. Oh god, they probably fucking are, aren't they? Well, that's some shit. Man, Miyazaki, you had to go and do that, huh? Well, I'm not even gonna fucking chance it, and we're just gonna snipe these bitches from afar. The new and improved basilisk. Lord have mercy. Oh, there's our boy, which I don't think I can use summons here. Nope. Oh, jeez. He hits hard. 
Oh, fuck. Alright. Alright. That's how you want to play it. We should also probably change our armor. <laughs> Even though we did frost damage to him. Alright. Round two. Our boy is, uh... Our boy be strong. <laughs> He's very strong. <laughs> so, I ended up just running past him. Uh, there's a lift over here. But what ended up happening is... He kind of gets stuck? Where is he? He, like, gets stuck on something, and his AI kind of craps out. Which I'm not mad about, because, like I said, I'm, I'm a big supporter of cheeses. Oh, that was the wrong spell. I'm like, yeah, he's just, uh... Barely dodging, doesn't heal, just kind of stays there. I think he only heals once. But yeah, he just kind of... I don't know. I think his AI kind of fucks up when you're not in the place that it's supposed to be. Which then I'm like, wow, so I guess he has a pretty small leash then? I wasn't gonna bother to run up and like, do that. But yeah, he's just like super non-aggressive. So I'm just able to like, slap him. Beautifully fought! My <laughs> Beautifully fought. <laughs> Was it? <laughs> it wasn't very elegant, but it did the job. Uh, oh, I love them too. Ooh, discarded palace key. You know what that means. We can now open the chest that is behind Queen Renala. And we gonna do that. We gonna do that. And I will catch y'all on the flip side. <laughs>